first. Thou shalt not drink the blood of thinking creatures. Second, thou shalt obey me in all things. Third, thou shalt not leave my side unless directed. Fourth, thou shalt know that thou art mine forever. I hate how right you are. I knew he wouldn't leave me alone, even when I was just another wretched toy for him to play with. But if I'm the key to this power he craves, he'll hunt me to the ends of Faerun. I need to take the fight to him, and I need you to help me. Full-fledged vampires are not so easily slain. Your master will be no exception. Fortunate for you, slaying monstrous fanatics is a pastime of ours. I knew I could count on you. It's that killer instinct I love so much. Where is he hiding? Tell me! The Master is preparing the Black Mass. Beneath his palace, there's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time, hidden from us all. I'm going to stop, Kazadu. I have a confession. I was too hasty to judge you. I thought you witless, gutless, unimpressively bland. I'm more than what I was. And I'm not afraid of anything anymore. I'm the only person who can stop him. Jack Vernash do. I thought I'd seen the whole of you. Mighty as Tiamat's dragons, monumental as the one in the void. But now, I see more in you still. But you are also silk and satin. Soon, I would know you again. I will burn you, bite you, brand you with the wounds of my obsession. I expect you to do the same. Leave your mark. Be the source of my bruises. That's what you want, isn't it? I've torn flesh from monsters and men. I've laughed as they suffered. But you... I don't want to hurt you. I want to protect you. For you to protect me. I am yours. It's the parasite. Link your mind to mine. Through your eyes, I can see the scars on my back. And copy them onto his. I can see your scars. The torment you felt. Your mind and body at the mercy of another master. Yes. Yes. I see it. What are you doing? Don't! Ah! He always insisted we were a family. Even when he was carving scars into our flesh. He was a monster to us all. But did take special pleasure in my pain. He said, my screams sounded sweetest. My thoughts are hallowed ground. Yet you've crawled your way in. Uninvited. I'm obsessed by the ground under your feet and the wind over your head. I see your face just before I sleep and after I wake. was my torment. Now, I revel in it. I revel in you. When all this is over, will you stay with me? For good? Jacques Von Vindu, source of my joy.